Hello everyone, Denise here. I hope you're doing well. Um, I just uh, wanted to come on and, you know, kind of share some scripture, you know, amidst everything that is going on. I'm sure you've all uh, by now heard the latest, you know, of this never-ending story. And uh, it's not going to end, okay? It's not going to end until Jesus Christ comes back. So, um, there's something I would like to share here. Uh, uh, chapter 13, Revelation chapter 13. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. And upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Okay, so... I find it kind of interesting, and I have to be real careful right here, what I am about to say, but, um, okay, this thing comes out of the sea, and there is something out of the sea that is immortal. It, they found that it doesn't die, okay, um, and it has um, seven heads, okay, it has like six all around it, and then one main head right like in the middle. <laughs> And um, if you watch uh, a video link, I will share below. I'm going to sh share a few video links below. Um, you know, hopefully it's still available. And all I can say is watch it for yourself. Um, you know, Jesus said that um, in John 3, 7, Marvel not that I say unto thee, ye must be born again. Okay, so what what does that mean? That, that means that you are... Um, you believe, you know, you, you, you know you're a sinner and you need a savior and you cannot save yourself. You, you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and, and, and then when that happens and, and you know there's nothing you can do, you know, not your good works, not anything, you know, because um, if you do that, but then thinking you're a good person, you know, uh, scripture says that, that everyone sins you know everyone is a sinner and I have all fallen short of the grace of God there is not one that doeth good no not one and um, so we all fall, fall short of that and um, besides that if we if anyone could save themselves then then it would be possible you know to go to heaven without a Savior and Jesus Christ God would not have come down you know and and gone through you know preached, you know, and, and performed miracles, and died and rose again and resurrected, is coming back again, you know, his word, none of that would have happened, had to have happened, but since um, the Garden of Eden, when Adam and Eve blew it, you know, um, we're all born into this flesh that is infected with the sin virus. So we must be born again, and, and that means um, a spiritual baptism, okay? baptized, you know, with the Holy Spirit and fire, you know, um, uh, so we must, you must be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven, um, Jesus said, so you want to make sure that you're born again, and, and trusting in the Lord, and, and what, what his holy word says, and, and, you know, even if you don't understand it all, you know, you want to trust in him, I mean, it is not, you know, we can't save ourselves, you know, um, pe people will say, you know, if you ask them, or you think you're going to go to heaven, well, yeah, I, I'm a good person, you know, I've done this, I've given a charity, I've raised money, you know, I, you know, whatever they say, and, and um, you know, that's, that's not it yet, those, that's not it, guys, um, it's, you know, we're sinners and we need a savior okay it's it's not of works but it's by grace that you are saved so um, if you're trusting in yourself you know you're trusting in a sinner and the wages of sin scripture says is death you know the wages of sin is death so want to make sure that you are born again I mean there's going to be a day when many will come in my name Jesus said um, saying that they, you know, trying to get into heaven, you know, saying, you know, have we not done this, performed miracles, you know, given to the poor, um, 
da 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 on and on and on and and you know so basically they're trusting in themselves and their works and they never trusted in Christ you know and Christ and Jesus said to them you know uh, depart from me I never knew you you workers of iniquity so it's very important that that we get born again and I, I will link a very good uh, short video link in my description box on how to know that you are saved and and this gentleman um, describes it very well a lot better than than I can so anyway um, in light of uh, everything that's going on so, I, so I'll, I'll just reread this um, and I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea having seven heads and ten horns and upon his horns ten crowns and upon his heads the name of blasphemy okay I find it interesting that um, with everything going on right now we don't have um, a competent or you know government saying we should have a national day of prayer and turn to God you know if this you know if all that's happening is you know really happening but um, anyway you really have to be awake to see it and unless you're born again you're probably not seeing it you're probably you know there is a lie that scripture says people will believe and fall for out of deception and fear and you know it's it's already here guys so and the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard and his feet were as the feet of a bear and his mouth as the mouth of a lion and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority okay this is all about control and you know the funny thing is you know it's not just this control um, this controlling spirit is not only flowing through all these governments and everything you know you gotta do this you gotta do this you know um, never-ending story like I said it's just you know gonna keep going on till Jesus comes but um, it's, it's spreading into the people you know I'm noticing um, people you know the general public you know seem to jump up as though they're in authority you know some kind of um, face diaper police or this type of police you know over you you know I mean uh, they're not gonna respect um, your belief at all but but you damn well better respect theirs you know I mean it's it's just it is insane how how this is all happening here at the end you know I never could have imagined it would happen like this and we would be seeing what we're seeing but it's making more and more sense the more I read um, these scriptures and do my research you know the things they don't want you to see that they take off and take down um, you know from platforms like this so you know, it's it's it, it's uh, they're doing that for a reason. So hopefully you can see that. And I saw one of his heads as if it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered after the beast. Okay, so this thing that they have discovered, you know, um, yeah, I'm, I'll stop right there. But the, these this thing that they have discovered is immortal, guys. It it can be chopped into a million pieces and a million more of them will just regrow and reform itself um, you know it's it, Jesus said it would at the end it would be as the days of Noah and as the days of Lot and there was a lot of manipulation with um, you know the genome um, going on back then and people were corrupt and God only found, you know, eight people to save. Noah wasn't perfect. He was a sinner, you know. Um, but I believe that their Gino, you know, was not tainted. They were the only ones. You know, everyone else, children included, it's, you know, and now five and up, you know, I mean, and parents are rushing their kids in thinking they're doing the right thing and they have no clue. You know, Satan is not going to come to you as I've mentioned before with horns and a pitchfork you know they come in disguise they, they come with lies and deception and and Jesus said people will be deceived into taking it okay um, so let's continue on and they worshiped the dragon which gave power unto the beast and they worshiped the beast saying who is like unto the beast who is able to make war with him 
And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God, to blasphemy his name and his tabernacle, and them that dwell in heaven. Okay? Them that dwell in heaven, you know, because when we when we go up they come down or when they come down we go up something is a all hell is about ready to break loose okay the only reason it hasn't all broken loose yet is because the restrainer those who are born again the holy spirit filled children of god you know the holy spirit god in us not us but god in us is restraining all this i mean we're seeing a lot we're seeing because this isn't going to happen this uh you know mark of the beast is not going to happen in one day obviously Okay, there is a buildup to it. I mean, it's, I believe it's happening right now. Okay, and um, through deception and lies and fear. Okay, um, y y you never hear really much of anything else, you know, um, since this whole nonsense has started. So anyway, um, let's see. Um, to continue 42 months. And, and he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blasphemy his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. Okay, so so um, I read that again because um, I want to get this point across in them that dwell in heaven. Okay, the rapture has already occurred when this happens in Revelation 13, 6. You know, the rapture has already occurred and, he, and the devil is cast out onto the earth. Okay, and we're going up and we're going to be in heaven. Okay. And um, so he, he is blaspheming us. He's angry that he got kicked out and we got to go home. All right. But so now, and it was given unto him to make war with the saints. Okay. And to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. So I believe once this happens, I mean, there will be tribulation saints, a, a lot of them. But, but most of the world... Um, you know, they're, they're going to believe, um, most likely, I mean, I, I don't know for sure how this is going to play out. I mean, like I said, I didn't even know it was going to end up like this at the end, but it's making more and more sense every single day. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, so when the Antichrist arises, you know, and then a third of, um, you know, the, the demonic angels were cast down with him, you know, um, you know, they're, they're not going to come to you like that. They're not going to say the rapture happened and, and that we went, Jesus Christ got us and they're stuck here with them. And their plan is, you know, <laughs> um, to kill, steal and destroy, you know, um, and, to, and, uh, so anyway, they're going to come down and, and maybe, you know, say that you guys are the good one, you know, don't worry about your loved ones that went up. They just weren't quite ready yet, you know those crazy people, whatever, um, but you are the chosen ones, and, you know, um, it might be something like that, I don't know, and, you know, they'll, they'll probably say they created, you know, the human race and the world and all that, because Satan wants to be God, and he wants to be worshipped, okay, um, you know, it's in the Bible, so, and, you know, he wants to be in you, Okay, he wants to corrupt your seed, all right? You know, when we get born again, the Holy Spirit comes in us. So, you know, he, he tries to emulate God. And, um, you know, all this stuff is just um, being set up right now. It's just amazing. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life, the Lamb's book of life, the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he exercises all the power of the first beast before him and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed 
Okay, and he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And he deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did, and did live. Okay, that this is speaking about the false prophet, um, a religious figure, you know. Um, most of us uh, believe we know who he is, okay, and, and um, you know, he's not a good pope, okay, he's evil. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Okay, so if you are left behind and you are, you know, suddenly your eyes open, you're a Christian now, you, you know, you're just, you know, you're believing in God and now your eyes, you can see everything that's going on, they will be after you. Believe me, they will know exactly who you are and um, in this time, you know, I don't know what all they're going to do, but it, but scripture talks about that they will be beheaded, you know, uh, there's a part in the Bible where the tribulation saints, you know, that have been beheaded, you know, they, they want God to avenge their blood, but, it, but God gives them white robes and says just a little while longer till, um, you know, the, the rest of you, um, are here, you know, and died as you did. So, you know, you want to get saved now. You know, time is running out. It's running very short. Things are moving fast. Okay, it's just, it, it's not going to end in, until Jesus comes. It's going to keep escalating. And this pot is about ready to boil. You know, when you are, a, you put a frog in a pot, you know, we all know this. And it's just kind of cool water. And you just slowly, you know, the frog's not going to jump out. It's just going to slowly, slowly adapt and keep adapting. And yes, there's a lot of conditioning going on. But, um, there's a lot that's already here <laughs> that's going on and a lot of um, you know uh, people are not admitting this thing being what it is Satan doesn't have to give a precursor for his mark okay he's nowhere in scripture does it say he gives a precursor then one day it's, it's gonna be the real thing okay it's gonna have the number of his name you know it's gonna have the name of the beast and the number of his name and um, you know there are certain ingredients, you know, and it's just abominable, okay? Um, if it was full of vitamins and minerals and, you know, and, and, you know, the government trusted in God's, our God-given immunity systems, and we had like a national day of prayer and just, you know, if this thing was real, and let's just pump everyone with vitamins and we'll just trust God. If we perish, we perish, but, you know, he made this world and, and um, everything in it and so let's just all gather and worship him and um, turn our face you know to him and um, but you don't see that happening you know if, it, if something like that was happening and and uh, they made something you know just just to put vitamins in you and stuff and you know people would do it you know there wouldn't be you know so much um, of this nonsense going on where they have to push and push and push okay and then then um, do their mandates you know I mean uh, God doesn't mandate okay he gives everybody a choice so and that no man um, okay and he causeth all both small and great okay children and you know are small you know and then there's other ways you can look at it too but he's causing everyone okay and this is happening right now you know if it walks like a duck quacks like a duck you know it is a duck okay and and so it is happening right now guys and and it's never enough okay it is never enough remember when Jesus was tempted by the devil you know and fasting you know for the 40 days and then the devil said you know if you just bow down and you know I'm paraphrasing here if you just but bow down and worship me I will give you all of this you know and um, so Jesus of course did not do that you know he's saying this to God you know but um, I remember being told if you just um, you know do this thing for you know muzzle up for 14 days to stop the spread you know everything will be fine but you know then something else came along then something it's never enough with the devil okay he's just 
He's never satisfied, okay? He will put you in chains and bind you, and you won't even know it. Before you, you realize anything, you know, he's going to swallow you right up, right into hell. So, um, Revelation 13, 16, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And I have said this before, it can, you know, this thing moves, okay? Um, you know, because it's alive. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. All right, I've mentioned this in previous videos. So here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Okay, so that is the patent on this thing also, you know, so um, there's that. And uh, so why are people, why are people doing this? Why are they giving into this, you know? Um, well, it says right here in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 10 through 12, King James, And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Okay, it's a lie, guys. You know, and it's here right now. The strong delusion is here right now. Um, like I mentioned, you know, we got these mass police running around and and uh, these, you know, these other police, you know, and, and they will tell on you in a heartbeat, okay? Uh, if it, if it, they think that they're doing God a favor, okay? There's a scripture about that, you know, peop your own family, people will turn you in thinking they are doing God a great favor. Um, but anyway, so moving on to verse 12, that they all might be damned who believed in not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So they're believing this lie because they don't want the truth. They're having pleasure in their unrighteousness, you know. They want their ears tickled, okay. Um, it's just amazing, you know, everything that is going on here. So I will share a few links in my description box, you know. Um, it's time to wake up, guys. You know, this isn't going to end. It's not going to end till the Lord comes. You know, and He keeps His promises, all right? He came, He He lived, you know, He performed miracles. Um, he couldn't pr perform miracles, ironically enough, in His own town because um, they were like, isn't, you know, even amongst, you know, His friends, His neighbors, His family, even members just didn't believe Him. You know, they were like, isn't this the carpenter's son? You know, even though he had already performed miracles and all this and that, they were believing a lie. They were deceived, okay, because they didn't want to believe that, that that is, you know, they're staring God in the face. So what did Jesus do? He shook the dust off of his feet and he moved. He, he left his town, okay, and he went elsewhere to perform miracles. So, you know... God, Jesus Christ is alive. He's coming back soon. Um, I'm going to see my mother real soon. You know, I can't wait. I miss her very much. And, um, you know, I'm looking up, having faith, and um, staying, staying strong. And even if, um, you know, I know my God, you know, if I get into a situation, I know my God is able to deliver me like he did with uh, Meshach, Shadrach and Abednego, you know, I know my God can deliver me, but even if he doesn't, I will not bow down to your image. God bless everyone, and have a good day.